Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and a good wherever you are. Welcome to Brizzy. My name is JP, and this is part one of a multiple part series. I think four parts on blogging with Brizzy in WordPress. And part one is going to feature on the Brizzy free blogging. Now, the reason I decided to do free first is not because I wanted actually to cover free. It's just because how you do it in free, I often do it like that in pro. So we're going to work through this so you can understand how you can do blogging with Brizzy free. Because when we get to part two and then all the way over to part four, I will mention a few times that how I'm going to show you to do it with the free version, I often do that in the pro version. I'm not going to tackle blogging as a topic here. How do you create a post? What is a post? What is metadata? How do you set all of that? I assume you know that. If you don't, leave a comment below so that we can put this on our list for the Brizzy Academy and make sure that these tutorials can roll out. But there are a humongous amount of tutorials on basic blogging on YouTube, but we are more than happy to also cover that basics here on our Brizzy Academy. What I've got here, and this is where we're going to start. I've got my WordPress installation and I've got Brizzy installed, the free version of Brizzy. We're only going to be working with that at the moment. And for my theme, let's just quickly have a look. I've got the 2023 active. I'm going to leave it like that. Under my posts, I just have the hello world. The first thing I'm going to do is get rid of that. And under pages, I created a placeholder. If we have a quick look at it, you're going to see it's just the standard pre-made blocks that I've created this page with. And we don't have much going on here in terms of a header. So let's jump into Brizzy, edit page with Brizzy and talk about the restrictions you're going to face with Brizzy free. The moment you bring in a blog, you do want some kind of navigation, a header at the top with a menu in so that people can navigate between the different pages if you have multiple pages. But at a minimum, navigate between the home page and the blog page. Now there are great features for the header and footer blocks if you go to the block manager. There they are. But as I click into it, you're going to see they are all locked and they are pretty much very well locked. It's very difficult to get into them. You can load them in templates, but you cannot edit them. So no point even in trying to touch these. So the benefits of a header block that you can create it and that it has sticky function, not available in Brizzy Free. Great in Brizzy Pro. How can we still create a header? We're going to do that with a normal block. So I'll go to layouts. No, I'll go back to blocks. Yes, at the top and just select create your own. Go to reorder blocks and I'll drag it to the top. And then from here, let's go to elements, look for the menu. And we're going to keep this very simple. We're just working on the basics here. And there you see it. It drops in these links. Don't worry about them. If I click on them, you're going to see it is set to main menu demo. It's a demo I imported earlier. So this menu still exists. Let's go and change up this menu. What we need to do is, well, we can style this a little bit, bring in a logo. I'm just going to keep that. Save to keep it, Control S, Command S, and hop back into WordPress. Let's go and delete that menu first and then create our new menu so that we are all on the same WordPress page. I'll go to Appearance and I don't see my menu because I'm working in 2023. So let's jump to something that we can work with, like here in Bloxy. You can install Cadence, Neve, Generate Press, Astra, whatever floats your boat. I'm going to use Bloxy. I'll activate it. And then it will ask me to activate the Bloxy companion. I've already installed it in the plugins. But if you haven't, it will ask you to install it. It's a good idea to activate this. There's a lot of extra features that come with this. Now that we have that, I can go to my appearance and I'll select my menus. And then over here, you will see the main menu demo. Delete this one. You won't have this, it's something that's from my past. And then I'll call this new one, the main menu. Let's create the menu and we'll put our home page there. Let's add to menu. And I don't want to call this home page. So I'll go to the navigation label and rename this home and save menu. For your theme, you will need to make sure you assign it here for its placement. But remember, we are using Brizzy at this moment as our canvas, so we don't need to worry about that. Save the menu, pages, 
all pages. Let's go to home page and click on edit with Brizzy. And at the top, let's see if it will find it. Yes, it will find the, if you only have one menu, it will only find that one menu. And there we go. We have our home page here. So you can at least navigate to the home page. Don't need to save, but I'm going to save anyway. The next thing we want to do is that we want to create posts, uh, blogging, so that people can come and read some news. Let's go back into WordPress. And as I mentioned at the beginning, this is not a blogging tutorial. So we're not going to go through the post creation process. But if you want to know, you go to posts and you add new posts. But let's do this. Click on add new post because this is the important part. And I'll say post one. Click on publish, publish. And then I'm going to click on edit with Brizzy. This takes me into the Brizzy Builder. Let's bring in a new block. But important here is that when you scroll up and down through this and you come here to the single part, which relates to posts, you're going to see these are all pro features. You can build a page out here. You can build a page out with all the content. You are going to have a problem though, is that you cannot bring in anything that is of dynamic content. And that is the problem because posts rely on dynamic content. You cannot add previous posts, next posts, and that limits you. Basically, it eliminates you from doing single posts with Brizzy. And that is our problem. That means, and let's exit back here, go to dashboard, and I'll say leave, that when you are creating a new post, you are not going to be creating it in Brizzy. So currently this post number one says edit with Brizzy. We're not going to do that. You will have to go back to the WordPress editor. This is the limitation of free. You want to create a post, you have to create that post within WordPress, the editor, Gutenberg, which means that you are going to be using the Gutenberg WordPress blocks to build it out. This will not be related to Brizzy. So you cannot use all the cool features that are available in Brizzy. However, if you have Brizzy Pro, everything I said just now, you can scratch it because then you can create those posts directly in Brizzy. And that's what we will be covering in part two, three, and four over the next couple of weeks. I am not going to create these posts from scratch. That's just going to take forever. Let's go back into WordPress and I'll delete this post and we are going to just generate random posts. I'll go to plugins and if you ever want to do this, this is the plugin, it's called Faker Press. I've installed it already, I'm just going to activate it and once activated, you will see Faker Press appears here on the left. Let's go to posts because this is what I want to generate. And how many posts, let's say, let's generate from one and let's make that one to 12 so we have something to play with. Let's leave that comment author content image providers placeholder lorem. I saw the images didn't work perfect, but we're going to use lorem ipsum and then taxonomy. Okay, so then all I need to do is hit generate, and this is going to create a number of posts for me with lorem ipsum text, nothing special. Faked seven, faked it seven times breaks my heart. Let's jump back into post and you will see here we have these seven posts. Select one. We go into WordPress and you can see here as a featured image. You can see here as header and there is content. It's a classic block. Yes, at this moment, which is the old WordPress way, but many people still prefer the classic blocks actually do it. But if you use the modern blocks or you use add-ons like Spectra, Stackable, or GreenShift, then these will be here. This will be yours. Important though is let's go and see how this previews on the front. And that's it. But what we have here now is we don't have the header that we've created for our page in Brizzy. And this is where things now get a little bit complicated if you've never done anything in WordPress and you feel that the earth is sinking beneath your feet and it's not a diamond mine waiting for you at the bottom. This brings you to a choice. The choice is 
which framework are you going to use to create your pages in? Are you going to use the Brizzy default page or are you going to use your theme default page? But let's just look at the contrast here so you understand the dilemma. Leave this open. This is our single for this one. And then we go back into WordPress and let's go to the front end of our site. This is our site. This is the page we've created with Brizzy and this is the header at the top with our menu. But we jump over to our single post and we see it looks different. Here is a different header. If I click here on this one, it's going to take me to this page. But the header looks completely different and nobody wants that on their website. You want to, and I'm going to just click back here so you can again see it. You want these two to be the same. You really only have one choice because there is no way that you can use the Brizzy header on this page because it's just a page. This part here is a page. It's not a theme part. It's not a header. It's not a footer. And that makes it very difficult for you to apply it to this, which means what? It means that you need to apply the theme header settings and the theme, all the theme settings to the Brizzy page. This is how we used to do it forever. The reason many people get confused that is if you joined the world of page building or site building in the last few years, you may not be accustomed to this. But I would say five years plus ago, we all did it this way. It was the only way you could do it because a page builder only had one purpose, and that was to build pages, not to build themes and sites. Now, what we have to do is go back into our Brizzy page up here in the WordPress toolbar select edit page with Brizzy. And we are going to tell Brizzy that we do not want you to use the Brizzy canvas. That is the framework. We want you to use the theme instead. And in this case, I'm using Bloxy. To do that, go to the sidebar on the left and here at the bottom, you'll see this little page icon. Select, and here is the page template. Select and select default. And in WordPress, default means the theme. And you're going to see, boom, there we have these changes. Now this header at the top looks like this header here for the post. What we want to do is to remove this one that we've created here because this becomes redundant. Then we're going to update this page. And you are asking me already, what about this thing here about where it says home page? This is again theme related. Remember, we've instructed Brizzy now to follow the settings and the layout of the theme. I want to remove this. It's referred to a page title, which was also something very common in the old golden days. We need to remove this, but this has got nothing to do with Brizzy. This has got something to do with your theme. And I would say every theme out there has this function. So to make this change, we have to exit the Brizzy Builder. We go back to the dashboard. And themes, depending on whether they have it in the free version or whether it's in the pro version, will have independent or global settings where you can change this. I'll just open a preview for us because I want to keep the preview open so you can see the changes. OK, remind ourselves again, we want to remove this one called home page. That is page title. And that will be under the theme. So we go to the settings up here of Bloxy. Do you see it says page title, select it, and I'll select disable and update. Now, when I jump to the front and I refresh this page, you will see it's gone, but there's still this gray bar. This is another setting in Bloxy. So I'll jump back. Let's go back from page title. I'll scroll down to content area, vertical spacing, custom, and I'll choose this one called disabled and I'll update it. This setting in Bloxy works for anything that is related to Gutenberg. If you are using any page builder with Bloxy, you will disable it here. This differs from theme to theme. This is how it works in Bloxy. I'll go again to my front. I'll refresh it and you'll see that is gone. What we have here now is the theme at the top, the header, and we will have maybe even one here at the bottom. Yes, we have here the footer at the bottom that comes from the theme. And now we have this consistency across our site.
Now we have to go back into WordPress because we created that menu earlier under appearance menus and we didn't assign it here. And the reason we didn't assign it was because we were using Brizzy and we've created it within Brizzy. So you don't really need to tell Brizzy where it is because you're assigning it on the page. But now that we've switched over to the Bloxy theme or it's Astra, Cadence or Ocean WP, you need to come back here and assign it so that the theme knows which menu to use. If not, it's going to do something like what Blocks is doing now. It's just grabbing all your pages and it's going to list it there. And currently, we just have this one page, which is the home page. So you go back and we are going to say, I'm just going to assign it to header menu one. There's more than one menu and I'll assign it to footer menu in case I want to use that and my mobile menu. I want to use it there too. So I'll save this menu. Go to the front, refresh, and you will see it will update to home. Changing the logo, changing how this looks, the font, this is all done within the theme. So this means that if you are using a font like Montserrat and you apply it within Brizzy Builder, when you are working on the menu links here, you will have to go into the customizer, and that is your theme customizer, and from here, where we go to topography, base font, let's select this. We're going to look for Montserrat. I know it's actually not Montserrat, but I just want to give an example and select it over here. Okay, this is just to make sure you understand the restrictions on using Google Fonts. And you can see it has changed the font up here. You will need to do this to make sure that your H1 to H6 settings for your theme is correlating to those settings within Brizzy. And there is no way to link the two so that if you update it in Brizzy, it will automatically also update in the theme. You will have to do these two. So make a little note of your settings just to let you know that you have to do that. Exit the customizer. Now we go and create a blog page. Let's just close these so that we don't get completely lost. Go to our pages and we want to create our blog posts page, our archive page, Add new page. And again, you can only create this within WordPress. If you want to do this in Brizzy, you will have to go for Brizzy Pro, something I'll show you from part two to part four. This is our blog page. I'm going to call it news page. I like to call it news. And I'll say publish, publish. And that's all you do for your dynamic archive page. Go back to view pages. Next, go to settings and select reading. Here we have to say that our post page will be our news page and we save the changes. And one more step is that we have to go to appearance, menus, and then select our news, add it. There we go, save our menu, and let's see how it looks on the front. Now we have the home page, we have the news, and select news. There we go. These are the seven. You see the seven that were generated. Some of them have very nice little featured images. Some of them just placeholders. But this is how it looks. And this page here, this archive page is rendered for you by WordPress in sponsorship of Bloxy theme. This is not done within Brizzy. And we know that because if you look at the WordPress toolbar here at the top, you will see it only gives you the option to edit the page. That means WordPress. If we select Home, it's going to give us the option to edit page with Brizzy. And if I select that, it takes us into the Brizzy Builder. Just remember, you cannot edit the header up here, nor can you edit the footer down here, because why? That is related to Bloxy. We are now in the Brizzy Builder. And if you want to get out of here, you exit and you go back to the dashboard. This is the way how you will be doing blogging when you are using Brizzy Free. Now, many users see this as a constraint. There is a desire to have full control over how you build out your header and make everything look unique. I am kind of that designer that feels, hey, don't mess with a good thing. What do I mean by that? Let's go to the front end again and look at what we've got here in terms of our blog. And you see this layout here. This is our archive page. How this looks here has been designed for you by the theme, which is Bloxy, aka Creative Themes. And 
again, you have some super themes on the market, which many of them are dedicated towards blogging. How it displays here, like the category there, the name of the post, the image, the columns, all of this metadata is pre-designed in a way for you with the theme, but you can make changes. And how you make that changes is you go into the customizer of the theme. And then over here, you are going to look for blog posts. Oops, let me just click out there. And you can see here that it's currently set to the grid. I can go to a simple display, which is pretty nice as well. I have this classic display, which is a huge image. And then you have enhanced grid. And every theme plays around with how this looks. Themes try to be unique. If I go back here to something like the classic, you will see it's this huge image. But that's where you go down to all these options below here. And you can make changes. How big is the image? How big is the title? How do you want it to look? The difference between this and using Brizzy Pro to create is that with the Brizzy Pro, you're going to decide exactly what you want here, how you want this to look, where it can go, how much the space will be. You do have that flexibility still here, but there will always be a little bit of a border that you cannot overtake when you're using with a theme, whereas page builders, now theme builders, tend to give you more power. My point here is that often when I look at something like this, I don't see the need for improvement. 90% of websites out there should be happy with this. This is tried and tested. And I often test it with family and friends. I just ask them something like, hey, do you feel this WooCommerce shop or this shop looks good? They say yes. Then I show them a new funky shop that somebody decided to invent and they feel uncomfortable with it because they are used to what is a blog. They are used to what is an e-commerce shop. When it looks too different, they feel unfamiliar with it. That is just a little statement I want to put out there. Don't dismiss the power of the theme even when you have Brizzy Pro. You can still use the theme in conjunction with Brizzy Pro because you get those other awesome pro elements. You get global blocks and you get pop-ups, which are awesome. And then you can still use the power of the theme. If you have a good theme like cookies, consent forms that may be in there, scroll to top things, things that are not inherently included by default within Brizzy. So don't discard the powerful combination of a theme with Brizzy Pro, but with Brizzy Free, this is the way you will have to do it. And here you have this control in how you want it to look. There's a lot here. Like if you go into the card options, you will see that you can change it around. If you want to put the featured image above the title, you have more. You can open up a read more button and then you have the design here. There's really a lot. And this, what I'm doing here, is all in the Bloxy free version, which is really powerful. It will get you all the way there. Let's recap as to what it means when you want to do blogging with Brizzy Free in WordPress. First question is, can you do blogging? Answer is yes. Can you use Brizzy to create your posts and your archives? The answer is no. That is for the free version. For that, you will need to choose your theme. In this case, one of the themes I've chosen here is Bloxy. There are many great themes on the market. I constantly ramble them off. Neve, Cadence, Astra, Ocean WP, Generate Press, and I forget the rest. You can just search online for great WordPress themes 2023, and then you will find these themes that work perfectly. What will be important is to make sure that everything is uniform, and that is the pages that you are creating in Brizzy, like your home page. When you go and edit that page within Brizzy, you need to set the page display for the template to default. When you first create the page in Brizzy, it's going to come in with the Brizzy template. The Brizzy template removes everything from the theme. So everything that's related to Bloxy, the header, the footer, etc., will be removed from the page. But because you will have to go with the theme once you want to do blogging, you will need to make sure that you go to your page template and put it on default. 
This means that features like your header, including the logo, your links, you will need to go and make sure that the fonts, the sizes, and how you style it are the same as to what you are doing within Brizzy. So from your global styling, the colors you use here, as well as your settings in terms of the font, in this case, which is overpass, you will need to make sure that when you go into your theme, the customizer, that you do the same. Previously, we set this to Montserrat, means we should have put it on overpass instead. And that's it. Now that you know how blogging is set up with Brizzy 3, in part two, three, and four, we are going to look at how you do this with Brizzy Pro. And you're going to be surprised a little bit. I've even surprised some of our teammates that thought there is one way how you do it within Brizzy Pro. No, I'm going to show you one way. Then I'm going to show you the second way. And then we can talk about the hybrid way. From me, JP, if this video was useful, you want to see more videos like this, please give us a like. It helps to keep the motivation going. And then remember, there's a huge community out there that can help you, that you can be part of with Brizzy. Look at the links in the description below. Visit us at brizzy.io. Check out the blog section. There's new stuff happening all the time. And most important, make sure that you have subscribed to this awesome channel called Brizzy. From my side then, have a great day. I'll see you in part 